Now the idea behind having the bike and the treadmill, I'm finding that as I'm getting this new stroke that's long and stretched out, that's really cool. It kind of feels just like a good vibe of being Morning, Trainiacs. You know who's got a solid day ahead of them? Me. Swims and podcasts and deliveries for a new Triterran HQ getting it set up. Besides being cold, everything's starting out Terran. Finding that as I'm getting this new stroke that's long and stretched out, I'm starting that catch, instead of like grabbing the water down here at my side, I'm getting resistance all the way up here and that's putting a lot of strain up here and those muscles just I haven't been trained ever. So I'm getting tired very quickly but muscularly in these swims. I gotta work on that. It actually wasn't too bad. It cranked up how many seconds I held each pose for from 15 to 17. I'm just starting. I try to build up to 30 and uh, it seems like that strength workout has uh, it's been helping. It's feeling way easier. Digging it. Deadlifts. Look at this. We just got some goodies delivered and we gotta set it up pronto, Tonto. Big time. That's a lot of parts. Unidentifiable as a treadmill. Fantastic. This is going to be a lot bigger project than I thought. All right, there we go. Now I can drop weights in full confidence that they're not just gonna smash this new floor. Yeah. Does it turn on? I knew where the on switch was, this would help. It's a good sign. It's a really good sign. Maybe not. I see, they want safety before you go and run. Yeah, it is a new treadmill, thanks. <laughs> oh yeah, I am looking fit, thank you. I've been walking. Well, there you have it. The brick session setup, done. Now the idea behind having the bike and the treadmill, it's not so that I can do all of my running on the treadmill, it's actually quite the opposite of that. The idea is so that after a really big chunk of my bikes, I go on the treadmill and maybe just do like 10 or 15 minutes of like getting that blood moving so that by the time I start coming into race season, it's not like I've got to teach that blood how to reroute really quickly going from the bike to the run. That was a big thing, it was a very big thing. We want to keep those legs ready to do that. A lot longer than I thought, by the way. And I gotta hurry now, because we got a podcast with the Ventum guys. Jimmy Sear and Dean Nauer, the founders of Ventum. Solid folk, solid folk. Let's go do this. Okay, let's get rolling here. Uh, we are here with Jimmy Sear and Dean Nauer. Thanks guys for being on the show here, and thanks especially, like, huge high five over the internet 
for setting me up with the bike since I, I test rode it there that day that I came and met you in Kona. I've been so jazzed up to get riding on that bike and uh, with Alto coming on with the wheels, it's gonna be so stiff and I don't know if you know this, but we're getting a, a custom decal uh, put on it by Bicycle Makeover. So yeah, the last month it's been like every day is Christmas getting to look at that bike. But uh, uh, let's take it back a little bit. I wanna hear about kind of the story of, of how you guys started Ventum, where you've come from. Right, like if, if somebody loses a bolt on the way to a race, they can go to Home Depot for most of them, right? And it wasn't quite specific enough. It was a YouTuber pretending to be a scientist on the internet. I wouldn't know anything about that. Hot damn. <laughs> right on. When do you bring him to, to a race? I want to meet this guy. Little Australian cattle dog, right? And there we go. Podcast Ahoy with Ventum. I wasn't taping it there, but what I said to the dudes right after we got off the podcast is that what I really like about Ventum, and this is like, I'm gushy about them. I, I'm gonna admit it, I'm gushy. They aren't paying me to say this, hashtag not an ad. I was just legitimately really impressed with the ride that I went on in Kona. They even addressed a lot of the things that everyone said when they shared that bike radar review with me in that podcast and kind of talked about why it isn't all what you think it is in that bike radar review. But the Ventum dudes are like a perfect size company for me to work with because they're large enough that they're willing to take a risk on a guy like me and partner up and do some really cool things, but they're not so big that I'm 17 people away and a formal request away from talking to a manager of marketing. I can go and hop on a podcast with Jimmy and Dia and we can talk about how they're apparently not wearing shirts because they're in Miami and we can talk about their dog Finley and like that's really cool. It kind of feels just like a good vibe of being working with their company, not just doing work for them, if that makes sense. I like them. I like them. You're going to see a lot of ventumness over the next year. Dig it. <laughs>